unfortunately, Travis Hunter had another appointment today. We'll get him tomorrow. But Shadur's here, ready to answer some questions. So we'll open it up for questions. Hey, Shadur, you, your coach was talking about how you've had to learn three systems in the last three years. I'm wondering about the transition into this one, working with Sean Lewis, how that process is coming mentally, and obviously uh, one day of practice. How did it go? Working with Coach Lewis is amazing. He's, he's something I never had before. Um, each and every day, each and every period, like, he pushes me to grow in different areas. Like, it could be while we're eating the food, eating breakfast, he pushes me to eat all my food. So it's the little things that matter to him. So I'm extremely grateful that he's, he's the OC and he's here, and he's here to uh, run the show. Hey, Shadur, on your right. Uh, when your dad had his intro presser, he said, there's our quarterback, but you still have to earn the job. So knowing the pressure that comes with just who your dad is as the player, plus he's also the coach, and what a quarterback obviously means to a team, do you sense any of that extra, I guess, attention? And does it affect you at all, knowing that there's all of this? No, not really. That's really, he says that for y'all to know. You got to understand, I'm with him almost every day, so he knows my focus. He knows what I'm doing. He's knows, he knows my mindset. Y'all don't know that. So that's just on the outside looking in, like, um, it don't matter what it is, we competing each and every day. And it's not, it's more the pressure of competing basically against the world, competing against like each and every day, each and every game. Like that's what the real competition is. I, I see if, you know, it's in practice and stuff like that, but um, it's really in the game, knowing that each and every game is a target on your back. They're going to want to come hard every single game. So, you know, that's it. Hey, Shador, Nikki Edwards, CU Sports Report. Um, your dad said that we had a really, um, not we, I wasn't there. You guys had a really fast tempo uh, practice today. On your end, what did that practice look like, and what did you work on? We're going to focus in on every play, every single play. Like, take it one play at a time, go through my rules that coach taught me, go through my checklist on each and every play, know who the key reads, who's not, um, go through the progressions, everything like that. So that's what I was focused on uh, every play. Today. Hey, Shador. Jake Schwannis, DMVR. Um, you got a lot of new targets this year to throw to. What's that process been like trying to build that chemistry throughout the offseason so far? Well, now we actually get to go against the defense. So it's, it's going to be easier now that we're able to get in the film room and talk about, okay, when the DB does this, uh, do this. So it's, it's about going against every variable uh, that could come out of it. Throwing throwing one-on-ones, just throwing by yourself with the receiver routes on there. It could only do so much. Working against a live defense, uh, we'll, after this practice right now, we're about to go up and watch it and critique like the little things. That's what I'm big on with all the receivers is having them see through the same lens I see through. So we're not just out there running routes. We're not out there just doing anything for no reason. Like It's a reason. It's a purpose for every time we go out there on the field. And like Even in practice today, uh, Jimmy Horn, I say he messed up. Well, he didn't mess up on a route. Last week that we worked on with each other, but I told him, okay, when you see this coverage, you do this. So then coverage presented itself today, and he did what I told him, and then it's easy. So that's all. It's just about trial and error right now with the offense. I'm just curious, what, it, what has it been like throwing to um, or kind of having to play against the defensive backs on this team like Travis Hunter? Nico Reed, some of the other returning guys. Just what have you seen from that group so far? Well, Travis, uh, Travis is on my side right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm feeling great that Travis is on my side. Uh, but Nico and, and a lot of DBs, one thing they're going to do is compete. Uh, you could talk to them. You could throw as many deep balls that you want on them. Like, they, their confidence is, is unbelievable. Like, no matter what, they're still ready to get up there, jam, get up there, and uh, be ready to play. So I know just in general, if they have one bad day, the next day they they definitely thinking about that, and it's just a real competitive uh, energy that I've never been a part of before. Hey, Shadour Ryan Koenigsberg from DNVR. Uh, first of all, just uh, how has it been for you settling into Boulder over these last couple months? No, I've been good. I'm out the way now. You know, it's cold definitely, so I gotta bring Vaseline on the field for my lips and stuff like that <laughs> in practice. But no, I love it in Boulder though. It's cool. Um, love Steakhouse up here. I like Plaza J's. It's a lot of good restaurants, you know, I like. How excited are you to play with some of these new guys that you've been working with, like like Jimmy, like Zico, et cetera? Yeah. No, I'm excited to play with him. Like Zico, he's a different type of athlete. 
he he's extremely gifted. I ain't never played with nobody like him before at that position. So, and we got Eli Yelverton coming back. He played with me in high school. So, you know, I love the tight end room a lot. Um, the receiver room is, is co competition each and every day. And then, you know, after the spring, it's going to be more guys coming in. So it's just, it's just really just competing and just uh, really building relationships with them right now and trial and error, get things right, and just be on the same page. Shador, Sean Keeler of the Denver Post. Uh, piggybacking off that a little bit, I'm wondering what – you and your dad kind of thought of Boulder in this area before you got here, or maybe when it was first broached to him, like, what is what is this? What did you know? And how is it different than what you thought it was going to be? And how have they treated your dad maybe different than what you thought it was going to be once you finally got here? I mean, when I finally got here, it was right after the championship game. So, you know, it was kind of like a, you know, a bittersweet feeling. We just lost the game. But um, that's when I that's when I really sat down and, like, thought about, I'm here in Boulder. You type it fast. <laughs> I said that. He type it fast. But other than that, um, all right, now I'm thinking about that now. <laughs> no, okay, I'm thinking about it. No, nah, but just being in Boulder, how they treat Pops, I'm not around him like 24-7 like that, so I'm not really sure. Yeah. That's the difference. That That's the big difference. You know, it's snow. But I got used to it. You know, now I just go outside with a sweatshirt and shorts. So I'm cool now. I'm, I'm a Colorado boy. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not with him like that. You know, because Mo put us through all the workouts. And at that point, I'm ready to go home. I mean, he been doing that. That's country prime. That's prime time, you know. So he been doing that. He got a ranch and all that. So I don't know. He been wearing cowboy hats, though. Hey, Shadur. Eric Christensen from CBS here in Denver. Um, Coach said uh, you guys graded the practice as a C. Were you telling him what you thought he wanted to know or what actually made the practice a C? Nah, we're not just telling him what we want him to know because it's realistic um, things that you're going through. So it's a couple of throws you miss, a couple of like assignments you miss, like it's it's real attention to detail. So we know we know the little things we can't mess up on. We know that. So we grade ourselves hard so when a game comes, it's more everything fluent. So that's the thing, like we just we just not making us feel better saying, Oh yeah, we had a grade A practice today because we was focused. But nah, we gotta execute each and every play. And that's when we get those A days. So Today was a C. Well, they said D. I thought it was like C minus, but coach said D. It's D. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, just really just coming out tomorrow and just focusing. And this the first day we was, at, we was actually able to go against the defense full. So being able to get everything on film and teach off that, that's that's major for us right now.